Um, this is really this is really a very good number for a rocket, um, but we still need to uh, take this to another level. With uh, that's what, why we have the Starship uh, development, which is a much bigger rocket. It's the biggest rocket ever developed. Um, it will have more than twice the thrust of the Saturn V moon rocket, oh. um, and it's designed for full and rapid reusability. Uh, so this is with a with a hundred ton. Uh, to orbit capability, possibly with re with uh, further refinements, 150 tons to orbit, um, and uh, with the ability to launch uh, with no or zero expected refurbishment between flights, but like so, like an airplane. Um, uh, moreover, it uses uh, lower cost uh, propellant, uh, so it's it's a three and a half to one mass ratio of uh, oxygen to fuel. And the, and the fuel is, is uh, liquid methane, which is the lowest cost fuel in the world. And the pressure uh, is uh, autogenous uh, uh, oxygen and methane gas uh, instead of helium with uh, Falcon 9. Uh, so Falcon 9 uses uh, helium. Uh, it's, it uses uh, rocket propellant grade uh, jet fuel, essentially, which is actually quite expensive, and helium for pressure, which is quite expensive. Um, and uh, so the, the, the cost of propellant um, for Sasha, even though it is much bigger, will be really comparable to the cost of propellant for Falcon 9, uh, but it will have full and rapid reusability. So the, the crazy thing is that if things go as according to plan, we'll have a rocket with 100 ton to orbit capability that uh, has a marginal cost per launch of around uh, $2 million, which is less than our, our, our little Falcon 1 rocket that we started out with. And then with a, with a rocket like with, with Starlink, or with Starship, I should say, um, uh, when you add in orbital refilling, um, you know, which really means that uh, two Starships need to dock on orbit, uh, one at one pro uh, transferring propellant to the other, sort of like like aircraft uh, aerial refueling, but this is orbital refueling, uh, primarily of oxygen, uh, then you can deliver over 100 tons to the surface of the moon or Mars, um, possibly 200 tons. So um, Starship is is uh, the first system that will be capable of building a, a base on the moon and a city on Mars. And when will we see Starship? Elon. Well, you can see it's a pro progress online right now. It's just quite followed quite rigorously on the internet. Um, in fact, often if I want to see what the latest thing is, I just go on the internet <laughs> because it's being developed in South Texas on right next to a public road. So never remember the public have uh, telephoto lenses pointed at our vehicle all the time. Um, so we, we're, we're hoping to do our first uh, orbital launch attempt in the next um, next few months. Um, and uh, we'll certainly will have a booster and a ship, uh, an orbital capable booster and an orbital capable ship. And uh, the uh, orbital launch site will all be ready within the next uh, month or so. Elon, so, I, I also understand that there may be a rocket launch later today in just a few hours. Yes, this is a, another Falcon 9 launch. Uh, this is one of our transport missions where we do a whole bunch of uh, small satellites from uh, mostly from yeah, uh, third parties. So it's um, this is like it, this is sort of like the equivalent of like a like a bus. Uh, you know, just many many small satellites from many different parts of the world uh, that are not ours uh, are being launched into orbit. Hopefully. Uh, successfully later today. Elon, we only have a couple.